So, you know, we've got obviously the Damien, Damien Dark this season, right out of the gate, been this big threat. But I almost think like so early on in the season, he was a threat and he's a great threat, but is he going to, is there going to be something else, a curveball maybe, uh, anything coming that might uh, either assist him or also be part of a problem? Well, we would, if we tell you, we might have to kill you. <laughs> or, or he might kill you. Yeah, he I might think, I think what's so interesting about him is that we don't know the limitations of his powers because we haven't seen him fail yet. So we don't know how strong he actually is and all these powers are so mystical as they are, um, which also makes him unpredictable. We just, we just don't know where he's going to go with that. So he could get even stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm going with that. Which I kind of, I love that aspect that they're Mm -hmm. bringing into, into this season. And I think it's, it's interesting because aside from him, but you know, we learn about, um, Shadow Spire and, you know, they get more involved as the, as the season goes on and, Mm -hmm. um, what's, what's more to come. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'll put exclamation points at the end of it. Just picture them there. Yeah, do that. Thanks for support. Support system. You guys have a great team dynamic on the show, sort of a growing team (laughs) dynamic. But for your characters, you know, because you always want to see like different pairings of what sort of the energy of different characters. Would you like to see your two characters maybe get some more scenes together, some more, Uh, an adventure of your own? Yeah, well, we've sort of, we talked about it. We kind of feel like we've tricked the writers into, because we stand beside each other a lot. And the thing is, like, what happens when you have, like, six people in a scene, not all of you get to talk to one another. So I feel like that's happening more for Laurel and Felicity. And as they should be friends, because they're both similar, similar thinkers. Yeah. Emotionally. Absolutely. It's funny because it's not a relationship that I really put too much thought into only because you know up until season three there wasn't a lot of interaction Mm -hmm. between um Felicity and Laurel and it's actually awesome because now I feel as though and I I haven't even really talked about this with you but I do a lot of you know I'll do backstory and stuff like that but I feel like you know she looks at Felicity Laurel looks at Felicity Mm -hmm. and is like inspired by her and Felicity's teaching her things and even you know I wish I could say that they think the same way, but Felicity's genius, but, not but I, Laurel. I think what well, they do in like emotional context. Like, the, yeah, I, I totally agree with the looks. Like, we're we're shooting this scene right now, and I there's no there's my instinct is to turn and look at you for this line, but there's no chance for me to do it. So I've been actually fighting this this whole scene. I've just been like, so You're I'm like, doing this like weird look. Do you know what I'm doing? This like weird like neck thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> but I do think it's like um. It's like inspirational, and I think that anything, uh, you know, if there are scenes that Felicity are, you know, if she's wherever she is with her mom or, or whatnot, you know, wherever she, if she's not in a scene, I feel like Laurel has kind of paid attention to her tech skills yeah. and picked up on them. So I don't know. I just feel like there is a friendship, and I, I hope and I think that there's room, definitely room for it to grow. Up, for mm-hmm. sure. I agree. I justify things like if if I hadn't like if we haven't shown on television like Felicity's found something else. I justify it with like oh Laurel and Felicity talked about like they called each other because yeah. we never showed those things, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to shock you guys by saying that some of the fans get very invested in the love stories on this show. Uh, you know, and then there's the whole contingent of like, oh, well, Oliver and Felicity, but then there's the comic book contingent of like, well, no, Laurel and Oliver. You guys have a deeply invested, you know, where you want it to end, or do you just kind of like to see, you know, and, and like to see the different dynamics they can do? I like I like seeing the different dynamics, but I also feel like our story is our story, and it's kind of like where that leads and sort of not, um, it's kind of where that tumbles, really, and having that sort of fall organically as, as sort of like sticking to a structure. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And also, you know, thinking about it, I felt... I was happy, and, and and the way I look at their relationship, I am happy for or for Oliver, and I am happy for Felicity, and I see Felicity as this genuinely like beautiful person and good person, and obviously, I still think Oliver is the love of her life, Laurel's life, but that doesn't mean you end up with the love of your life, and so I feel like she's come to peace with that, but it's also Laurel didn't know who she was as a person mm-hmm. when we saw her in season one, so it was you know she had to find find herself and go through this journey on her, you know, her journey on her own. Meanwhile, she got to watch this beautiful relationship blossom. And, and so I feel like it's all, I mean, she's recreated herself really like it's amazing. It's what happens. I mean, that's real.